YouTube. What is going on, y'all? It's your boy, Young Texas, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now, the date is currently January 1st, 2022. That's right. It is now 2022. It is a brand new year. 2021 has come and gone, and I am so excited for the year that lies ahead. Now, of course, New Year's is a great time to look back on the year that was while also looking forward to the year that is to come. And in today's video, I'm going to be looking back at 2021, taking a look at myself as a person as well as a content creator. Beyond that, though, I will be going into some looking forward to 2022, kind of talk about what my plans are for this coming year as far as, again, myself being a person as well as a content creator and kind of let you guys in on some things that I'm going to be doing. Now, 2021 was an emotional roller coaster for, I think, all of us. It was full of highs. It was full of lows. But honestly, at the end of the day, if you are watching this video, you got through 2021, probably one of the most difficult years of your life, and I am so proud of you for that. Now, that being said, 2021 was actually one of the best years of my life, just based off of things that happened during the year for me, things that I accomplished, and things that I set myself up to accomplish this coming year. On January 1st of 2021, I put out a tweet with all of my followings on four of my social medias, those being Twitch, YouTube, Twitter, as well as TikTok, and that was so that I could look back today and see how much I had grown in that past year. So starting off with the platform that I posted that tweet on, of course, being Twitter, I started 2021 with 350 followers, and I can happily say that today I have 587 followers on Twitter, meaning a 237 increase. Now, TikTok is definitely a platform that was pretty bumpy this year because on January 1st of 2021, I had 498 followers on TikTok and I got that up to 1,288 before my account was hacked into and deleted. I, of course, made a brand new TikTok and that TikTok currently sits at 139 followers and I've had that for a little over a month now, so I'm honestly pretty happy with that following. Now, taking a look at numbers-wise, my biggest platform over on Twitch, I started the year at 2,537 followers, and today, on January 1st, 2022, I have 3,365, meaning that we gained just over 800 followers. Now, finally, here on YouTube, I started 2021 with 209 subscribers, and today, at the time of recording this video, I have 1,023 subscribers, meaning that I did surpass my 1,000 subscriber goal for 2021. Now, I just want to first off say thank you because that growth on all of those platforms would not be possible without all of your continued support. I can create as much content as I want, but if nobody's watching it, it's not going to be for much. You know what I mean? Honestly, you guys motivate me to be better every single day, both as a person as well as a content creator. You motivate me to get up every day and continue to make content, whether only one person enjoys it or every single person that comes across the content enjoys it. It motivates me to be better every single day. It motivates me to continue creating content and it motivates me to chase greatness. Now that chase greatness thing, if you guys are in discords with me, you'll know what that chase greatness thing refers to about Back in the summer, I started posting daily messages in my Discord as well as many Discords that I'm a member of, and I finished every message every day with Chase Greatness because that's a phrase that I live by because honestly, in my life, I want to chase greatness. I want to be great in every single thing I do, so every day I'm going to get better and chase greatness. My goal when I wake up in the morning is to be better today than I was yesterday and to be better tomorrow than I am today. It's kind of that 1% better every day, constant improvement mentality, and that is something that gets me through every aspect of my daily life. My 2021 was made infinitely better by you guys, the people that support me in all that I do, and I honestly cannot thank you enough for all that you have done 
done for me and all that you continue to do for me because I seriously am nothing without you guys. Now, taking a look at my life outside of content creation in 2021, back in May, I became the first person in my family to graduate from university when I graduated from Mount Allison University with my Bachelor of Arts degree in psychology. As you can see right there, that is my degree. I am so proud of that, something that my parents are incredibly proud of, and that is just a big part of my life that I knew I had to share with you guys. Now, also, one of my biggest goals in this year was to be named the starter on my university football team at my position. Now, I've been playing football for 16 years. My final game ever was this past November, and honestly, one of my biggest goals for my final season was to be named the starter at the center position, and I can proudly say that I started every single game that my team played this past fall. Now, I underwent some pretty big changes this past year. Some of them dealing with real life as I finished football and school forever, but also looking at content creation, I underwent so many changes. Back in July of this year, I left Skirata Gaming, a content organization team that I had been part of since September 24th of 2018, so almost three years in Skirata. And I did that so that I could pursue other things and focus on myself and my brand, building that to the highest potential. Now, of course, when I did that, I laid out my intentions of joining Carnage Clan, a team that I had been following for a long, long time and a team that I always thought would be incredibly amazing to join and something that I felt like it was now. It's now that I had to pull the trigger on jumping for that opportunity. Now, as it stands, only a few days short of six months since announcing my intentions to join Carnage Clan. I am not in Carnage Clan today, but that is more than okay. I have grown tremendously over this past six months, made friends and memories that will last a lifetime, and truly found who I am as a content creator. When it comes to Carnage Clan, I have a when-not-if mentality. I know that I will eventually get recruited and join Carnage, and so it is when will I join Carnage, not... If I join Carnage, if I do this, if I do that, it's when all of that happens. I have that when not if mentality and that carries me so far. Now, lastly, for 2021, I just want to say, I, honestly, I know I've said this before and I have to reiterate it. I don't have a script in front of me. This is all coming from my heart. I want to thank you guys so much. I did almost daily streams on Twitch daily uploads on TikTok for a long time. I uploaded to YouTube every single day of 2021. But none of that would have been possible without you guys. The motivation y'all give me every single day to keep creating content. Honestly, without you guys, I would be nothing. So thank you. Now, looking forward to 2022, there are a lot of things that I want to accomplish. First of that being joining Carnage Clan. I obviously alluded to that. So I'm getting that out of the way so I don't reiterate things that I've already said. So that is definitely something that I want to see happen in 2022. Now, another thing that I want to accomplish, I, I want to lose weight. Now, I know that that's something that's pretty common among New Year's resolutions is, oh, I want to be in better shape. I, but honestly, now that I'm done playing football, I'm built the way I am and I'm the size that I am. A lot of that because of football, I had to stay a certain size so that I could play my position effectively and be the person that my team needed me to be. But now that I'm done football, I want to shed all this weight. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of done being the big guy, right? I want to get in better shape. I want to look at myself and be proud of what I see. So that's definitely something I want to accomplish here this year. Now, something else that I want to accomplish this year, and this is kind of career related. It has been my dream since I was a little kid to be a police officer. And I've done some things to put myself in the right direction, be it getting my first aid and CPR certifications, getting hearing and vision tests done. I am currently on the application path to becoming a police officer. So that is one of my biggest goals this year is to get hired at a department so that I can live out my childhood dream of being a police officer, serving my community, and overall just serving a greater good. When people talk about goals, a lot of people talk about end goals. Now, I've said this before, and I will say it again, but I don't really see anything as being an end goal because when you have an end goal, that means there's an end to it. That means there's a cap. There's a limit to what you can achieve. I don't see end goals. My goal is to get better every single day, which means there's no end to that. That is ongoing. That happens every single day. That doesn't just stop. If you get better every day, it doesn't stop on the 100th day, on the 200th day, whatever the case may be. It is ongoing. There is no end goal if your goal is to get better every day. 
I just want you guys to know that 2022, I'm going to take my personal game and my content game to the next level. I'm going to bring you guys content unlike things you have seen before from me. I'm going to bring my quality up. I'm going to bring so many things up and I'm going to elevate myself and this community to the next level. I cannot wait for all of you guys to come along this journey with me. It is going to be a fantastic year. 2022, my year, your year, our year. Let's get to work.